Here. And let's check out this beautiful apron that is going to Rick in Illinois. And we got Skelly here with us. Skelly says hi. Hello, Skelly. So let's zoom in on this apron. Patrick, tell us about it. All right, real quick, just to let you know out here on Instagram, I'm also recording it on our DSLR camera for YouTube. So you can check us out there. Check us out there. Right away, if you notice on Rick's apron, he's got a hammer used for assembly work. And then when he's not using it, it'll be put on his shelf. He also has a five-in-one tool. This is something that in the last probably, what, two or three months, Michelle, has been pretty common. And people request it. It's a bespoke custom-made apron for you, and you're going to get it. Quickly, I want to mention how Michelle reinforces these pockets with veg tan leather, especially with tools with sharp edges like speed squares and five-in-one tools, chisels, things like that. They need some extra strength that way it gives you longer life to your apron. Yep. Um, what stands out to me about this apron from Rick is dual magnets. Mm -hmm. This is something that's, uh, I think, in these last batch of five, been pretty popular. Rick wanted it, so he's going to get it. Our classic round bottom pocket for storing um, bits, screws, dominoes, chalk, uh, lumber crayon. And on this side, again, notice the speed square. With a reinforced pocket. That's a sharp tool. Delvel square. And he has a combo square. So this is a little bit of double stacking all in one area. Two tone. So, Rick, I hope you enjoy it. And. Okay, I want to point out something is look at the beautiful growth wrinkles oh, yeah. that are in this hide. This is just a buttery, soft. Beautiful it is. Hide. This apron is the smoothest leather we have, and it just feels really good. I don't know if you can see those wrinkles or not, but they're there. It's a cool feature that comes in a full hide. So it's headed out to you, Rick. Can't wait to see you using it. Take care. Well, hello everybody let's check out this beautiful apron that's sporting the split leg there i think that's patrick's new favorite thing it is it's really comfortable <laughs> so this is going to ed that is in tennessee this is a fun apron so what ed's got going on here i think is another classic example d-ring for his safety glasses polini saddle square markers and rulers up top, the famous magnet. Saw it here first, leather by Dragonfly. On his right side, Ed is also right-handed. He's got a rag, just in case you need one, because you don't need a rag until you need a rag. And usually the rag's on the other side of the shop. <laughs> so now, now it's right there. Now it's right there where you need it. And right at his hand's reach, if you can see that right here, marking knife. Beautiful. We'll put that back. People always ask about what we do with our marking knife so they don't poke through. Tell it, why don't you tell them, Michelle? You, it's something you came up with. Um, I add a little bit of t-shirt material down into the bottom of the pocket. That way the blade of the marking knife buries into that. That way it's not repeatedly scratching the inside of your pocket and gives it longer life. And it's easily replaceable. Okay, yes. You shoot it out with the air hose when you're dumping out some... Guilty. <laughs> dumping out some sawdust. And... As long as I've been wearing our aprons for five years now, I have yet to poke through yeah. uh, my apron with my marking knife or a box cutter. Yeah, I'm sure someone could do it, but you know, you just be careful. This is a tool. So Ed elected to have a split leg, and I'm I'm here to tell you, there, there is uh, myself on my apron is a full length, and it's not split leg, and I can feel it across my knees when I'm walking in the shop or wearing a pair of shorts. Um, just off camera before I was rehearsing and I was just, I was just like walking, like how, how this feels. It's, it's a freedom. It just feels, it feels good. And it's just something that, uh, I'm probably going to have Michelle do to my apron. <laughs> so right here again, a uh, classic miscellaneous catch all pocket. I put my cell phone in here, a small block plane if I need it. Um, the little pocket, we have Festool dominoes, drill bits, uh, possibly dowels or screws, things of that nature. Um, on the right side, you notice, we always try to keep tools at your fingertips. But in Ed's case, he has a pair of digital calipers. And 
you can't have the best of both worlds. So something had to give. And Ed elected to move his square higher so that he could reach down and gather his digital caliper. That way he's got two tools within reach and put over to the side. That way there's a little bit more protection for the length of that tool. Yep. And for those of you joining for the first time, Michelle's recording this for Instagram and I've got the DSLR going for YouTube. Just to let you know that we use solid copper hand peen rivets. I do all the hand peening. All our hardware is 316 stainless steel. Forget about it. No need to worry. And the entire apron is leather. Full yes. grain leather. Full grain leather. The body, the pockets, the straps. I want to zoom in on, uh, on this beautiful pocket here. Look at the beautiful hide that that is. It's got a lot of care, like marbling in wood or a uh, figure in wood. It's oh, the yeah. same thing happens in leather. Or even this pocket. Yeah. Sure. And there's a cool marking down here. Love it. I love when the hides have some uh, depth and detail to them. So people often ask again, well, what about the split leg? Will it tear open? I'm not going to say it won't tear open, but I will say that we go through extensive measures to make sure that it doesn't. Michelle has put in a piece of veg tan right there, thick piece of veg tan to help defer that. And so far, so good. So it is glued down and it is stitched down. We work really hard on that. And it's beautiful. It is. This, and this, this leather here, to me, when you feel leather like a baseball glove, that's what this brown, our brown medium weight apron feels like. It just feels like a baseball glove. And the aroma, it always, it always gets me when I come down here to the shop. It just, just smells so good. Maybe spin around, I want to talk about the straps on the back. So we use a crossbody system with adjustable stainless steel hardware. I'm going to put in some extra length in all the straps. That way you have room for adjustability. And the waist belt there is going to keep the apron close to you when you lean forward so the weight of the tools don't swing it away from you. But at the same time, you're not trapped in your apron. And if you notice quickly, the snap is on the side. You don't have to do this anymore in the shop. We all have bad shoulders as we get a little older. And it was very difficult to snap it or fiddle around with it. Right here, right on the side. So we moved it to the side because we can. So this is a custom, happens to be medium weight because yep. Ed is a woodworker and he needed the medium weight protection. So this is headed out to you. All right, Ed, take care.